associated with an high number of physical illnesses and psychological dependence and tolerance tobacco is perhaps one of the most common preventable causes and lifestyle choices that we can make so what makes it tough to quit tobacco well to start off with there is a specific receptor system in your brain which gets affected that is the nicotinic receptor system which causes it to affect the dopamine system and release neurotransmitters producing an biological effect which seems to improve concentration and can affect the person in a long term There are different ways of burning stress. I prefer smoking uh, because it's easiest and cheapest way. I think. Wow, cigarette pio, gash maro, gum kora or kya? I got into smoking like everybody else does. Peer pressure, you know. But right now, I smoke a pack a day. That's in a good day. The frequent misunderstandings that are associated with tobacco is that you would be cool if you took it, and if you don't take it, you will not be accepted by the group. This. is just a form of peer pressure which can cause people to act in a way which is detrimental to them in fact the need to conform can lead to inhalation of tobacco application of gutka or even uh, taking hookah when one is not really up for it well cigarettes don't really relieve stress in fact they can add to stress and more importantly If you can't go without cigarettes, it's a sign of dependence and a sign that you are so habituated to the smoke or the nicotine that your body requires a refulfillment on a daily basis. So, if you need a pack of cigarettes on a good day, well, I think it's time you started quitting. I can't start my day without a smoke. Some people need their first cup of coffee, but for me, for me, that's the first drug. It's a bliss. Toilet break means smoke break, especially in the morning, which helps my bowel movement. Tobacco is associated with dependence, tolerance, and withdrawal features. Of this, it is very frequent to experience restlessness, insomnia, anxiety, agitation, sadness of mood, immediately two hours after the last cigarette, along with an intense craving for the cigarettes or tobacco. these are the withdrawal features so the trembling you experience or the constipation that you feel are actually happening because of the biological results of the tobacco on your body if you have decided to quit tobacco by now i am really grateful and understand that you are not alone there is a plethora or a entire menu of options that you can choose from let me run it by you the first is nicotine replacement therapy substituting the tobacco that you are taking with a more carefully guarded and appropriately supervised way of replacement this includes nicotine patches lozenges this includes gums which your doctor would be more than happy to prescribe to you just remember to stop that gum according to the doctor's prescription the second one is using psychological interventions and behavioral techniques to reduce the tobacco these can be taught to you by a counselor or the nearest doctor that you can get in touch with finally for those who find that the withdrawal symptoms are very debilitating well you can always reach out to us and we will prescribe medicines which are known to act on the nicotinic receptors to reduce the symptoms that you go through so hey you don't have to suffer the entire symptoms again the treatment can be individualized to each person's requirement so if you know someone who is smoking or if you yourself want to quit it or reduce it reach out to us surround yourself with the people who would enable you to continue the abstinence abstinence and most importantly take it one day at a time you can kick the cigarette butt if you decide to